St. Augustine, Apostle of England, Archbishop of Canterbury, 609, Anglia. St. Augustine, the first Archbishop of Canterbury, and the Apostle of the English, was sent into England by Blessed Gregory, and came thither in the year 597. At that time there was in Kent a most mighty king named Ethelbert, whose power reached even to the Humber. When this king had heard wherefore the holy man was come, he received him kindly, and bade him and his companions, who were all monks, to come to his own capital city of Canterbury. Being struck with astonishment at the perfect blamelessness of their lives, and the power of the heavenly doctrine which they preached, and which God confirmed with signs following. They drew nigh to the city in solemn procession, singing the litany, and bearing before them for their standard a silver cross and a picture of the Lord our Saviour painted on a panel. Hard by the city, upon the east side, there was a church built of old time in honour of St. Martin, and wherein the Queen, who was a Christian, was used to pray. There they first began to meet together, to sing, to pray, to celebrate masses, to preach, and to baptize, until the king was turned to the faith, and the most part of his people were led by his example, but not his authority, to take the name of Christian, for he had learned from his teachers and his own soul's physicians, that men are to be drawn, and not driven to heaven. And now Augustine, being ordained Archbishop of the English and of Britain, lest he should leave unprevailed any part of the Lord's vineyard, asked from the apostolic see a new band of laborers, Melodus, Justus, Paulinus, and Ruffinian. By them Gregory sent hallowed vessels, altar cloths, church vestments, and also relics of the holy apostles and martyrs. He instructed them to turn the temples of the idols into places of Christian worship, by sprinkling them with hallowed water, building altars in them, and putting relics therein. The Britons who, nearly an hundred and fifty years before, had been thrust into the uttermost parts of the island, had some bishops, whom Augustine vehemently urged to lay aside their error concerning the keeping of Easter, and to labor along with him for the conversion of the English, but they left it all to him. He toiled much for the saving of souls. He was illustrious for miracles, but more illustrious for his life. He made Melitus Bishop of London, and just as Bishop of Rochester and named Lawrence to succeed himself at Canterbury, and then finished his work in peace, and passed away to that life, which is a life of perfect blessedness, upon the twenty-sixth day of May, in the year of our Lord 604, in the reign of Ethelbert. O Remus! O God, who didst give blessed Augustine to the English people, to be their first teacher, grant unto us, we beseech thee, that as we do proclaim his praise on earth, so we may feel his prayers in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen.